Hi, I'm Don and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to unbox a couple of Vallejo paint stands. I got the paint stands from Neutral Ground Sentries. When I asked about the paint stands from the distributor of Vallejo Paints here in the Philippines, it wasn't available. They had to order it for me and, and it took about a week to arrive. When it became available, I immediately drove to Neutral Ground Sentries to get it. To my surprise, Vallejo also have hobby tools. So I got a pack of sponges. I call it sanding sponges. But Vallejo calls them flexi sanders. I also got a pack of stencil blades. I was looking for this kind of blade for more than a week now because I needed it for the RG Suzabi armor trimming. The normal art knife blade is a bit thicker and thus it's more difficult to chop plastic with it. I also got a couple of Vallejo paint brushes. Red Sable paint brushes, um, numbered triple zero and five zeros. I also grabbed a bottle of Mecha Color Pure Black. You can never have enough blacks because these are perfect for underpainting metallics. Pure Black with gloss medium is the perfect undercoat for Vallejo metallics. Front module paint stand can hold 50 to 17 ml bottles, your normal standard Vallejo paints. 8, 35 or 60 ml bottles, the pigment bottles and the washes, and 22 brushes. The corner module on the other hand can hold 28, 17 ml bottles, 16, 35 or 60 ml bottles, 1, 200 ml bottle, and 26 brushes. Be careful when cutting this because you might cut the paint stands, especially the manual. I accidentally cut the manual of the other box. You get a simple manual with the package. Um, the front shows photos of what you could do or how you could organize or put together the paint stands. Then at the back is are simple illustrations of how to assemble it. I was so excited to assemble the front module, I failed to press the record button. The assembly was pretty straightforward though, but the fit is a bit tight. I had to use a small plastic hammer to force some pieces together. So there you could see me here struggling <laughs> with, with the last piece. There, there's my small plastic hammer. I really had to force some of the joints. Then it's all good because it's tight. It's, it's really sturdy because it's tight and the material is really hard. I, I'm not sure what the material is. I think it's compressed sawdust or something. After a bit of hammering, a bit of hammering around, it's done. It, it looks really good. I can't wait to put my paints there. The front module is actually six inches at the tallest at the back with paints. And it's around nine inches deep. This is a bit compact for the amount of paints it can hold. You can fit this on a standard two feet table. As you can see, I cut it with the art knife earlier. Uh, so there, you, you'll get uh, bigger pieces with the corner module. There's one hole for a 200 ml bottle, the still water bottle or the big primer bottles and the big um, thinner bottles. Same with the front module, but this time I was able to record it. Um, it came with um, different pieces that goes together pretty well. And it's hard wood something. And it's, it's pretty good sturdy stuff. I 
I had no idea what that little piece is about when I was building this corner mojo. I had a super hard time assembling the corner module. I had to assemble it twice because I I can't seem to fit the last piece. So you could see in this video, I'll let it play. Um, you need to fit the middle, the biggest part, which is the middle part with the last piece. You could see it here before you could really assemble the whole thing. If not, you won't be able to fit everything together. This is tricky because everything fits so well. They're, they're pretty tight and mine loosened up a bit because I had to assemble it twice. So, but at least now you know that you need to put the middle part first before you could fully assemble the whole thing. Even though I had to assemble it twice, the, the fit the fittings are still tight. I still have to hammer away <laughs> to fit everything together. And when you hammer a certain part, sometimes the other parts to sense up. So I actually struggled a bit assembling the whole thing. It's more difficult than Gunpla <laughs> because of the tightness. But that's good because it's going to be sturdy once you fully assemble it. Done! Now what to do with this part? This little part came with a corner module. It took me a long while to realize what it's for. But eventually, I realized what it's for. <laughs> Tada! You have the corner module. It actually looks cooler than the front module because the corner module has mm, corners. <laughs> I decided to put super glue on the joints because I had no intentions of disassembling this stance anyways. After gluing all the joints of both stands and looking at them together they look really great i uh, realize there are holes underneath Tada! i realized that the small piece earlier is going to be used to put both stands together the small piece earlier served as a sort of bolt and screw then I decided to super glue it again. It was not included with the manual, but my video will help you realize that you can use it as a bolt and screw. <laughs> it's done. I love the design. It's compact. It holds so many paints. And you could put the paints that you use most often, like the weathering paints, the washes, then you have the holders of the brushes at the back, so it's perfect. Everything is within arm's reach now. 
Well, actually, my table is seven foot wide, so I have to roll around to get some pins. But I think I need a couple more of this, one more corner module and another front module, and it's going to be perfect. There you have it. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Thank you.